Happy Saturday, everybody. We're here back at SeaWorld to check on the progress of Mako. In case you guys don't know, Mako's a new roller coaster. It's a B&M hyper coaster, so it's over 200 feet tall. I don't think there's any loops, but there is like a zero gravity turn, which is kind of like almost a loop. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, look at this. They've started doing work on this ice cream stand here. Still my absolute favorite sign at SeaWorld. Look at this, eat more candy. This is me in real life with pigtails. In the lagoon right now, I have the lovely Sarah. She is a professionally trained diver. She is practicing the ancient art of free diving. Free diving means that she's not using any help or assistance from any weights, tanks, or breathing apparatus. She's relying only on the power and strength of her very own heart and lungs to keep her underwater for great lengths of time. Now our divers can hold their breath for quite an extended period of time. Most of our divers can stay underwater for an average of about two to three minutes at a time. Our first stop is to get some food. What is the name of this place that we came to? The Spice Mill. And I got, both Jen and I got the buffalo chicken sandwich. Yeah, and and uh, what's this stuff called? Pepper Jack cheese. And Doug got what actually looks a little bit better, the pulled pork sandwich. It's pretty all right. Ooh, they just started doing a fountain show out there in the middle of the lake. We got the perfect view of it too. Here's the new sign for the shark reef that has been changed because Mako. And there it is, there's the first lift of Mako right there. And also, if we turn to the right, there's the overturn right there. So this little insert is new too. And then there's the lift and you can kind of see like this is Mako and this is Kraken. So two different roller coasters real close to each other. And then if we turn, we see more signs for sharks and then the overturn again. Inside the shark encounter, they have like a little tribute or like a preview of Mako that's going on. Showing you like the concept art. Yeah, I cannot wait to ride this roller coaster. It's gonna be so awesome. Look at Jen. And as we exit the shark encounter, we see the artwork for Mako. And then if we turn just a little bit to the right, we see the shipwreck portion of Mako where this looks like a ship that you're like going through as a Mako shark. They've been running tests. It looks like they're not running tests today, but we were hoping they would be so that we could see it. Ding darn. You can hear them doing work back there though. I hear them like hammering on stuff. This is gonna be awesome. Oh well, yeah, here's the shipwreck portion of it. Oh, this looks awesome. I can't wait. So I saw these holes here and I thought, oh, let me go up in there and look. And then I realized that there are literally people working like right on the other side of the hole. Like there's people right there doing work on the like rock work. Pretty awesome. Look at the clearance between the two sections of track. It looks uh, very close to each other. Here's a look at the final brake run and the lift coming in. Look at how awesome that's gonna be. I'm looking through like a little tiny hole in the fence 
but you can see people working on the train up there and everything. Pretty neat stuff. There's the hole that I was just looking through. I can't even, there it is right there. Ooh, because we're pass holders, we could get this like Mako shirt for pass holders only. I kind of like it. They have all kinds of Mako merch out and about though. Pretty neat. Oh, and they have a Guy Harvey shirt because they just partnered with Guy Harvey. Just outside of the theater here, I think this is the Nautilus Theater, just past Mako, and just after the Flamingo boats, there is a little charging station for your phone. So you can go plug your phone in and sit down for a minute and charge your phone. We're heading in to check out the past member lounge here at SeaWorld. Let's check it out. Here is one room of the SeaWorld pass holder lounge. And then we'll, oh, and here, look, you get free Coke from the Coke Freestyle machine. Jen's sitting in her wavy chair and she loves it. <laughs> it is so wavy. Doug wanted me to show you the red chair. <laughs> I don't know what this little like area is, but pretty cool. Lots of past member merchandise. And then we've got all kinds of other tables and some TVs that kind of give you special offers for past members and the such. Look, guys, yeah. Shamu came. Oh, it's a video Shamu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can actually move. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is awesome. <laughs> There's somebody given, like, telling us about Mako Ooh, Rising. Yeah. We're gonna go and see. This is gonna be a presentation about Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest coaster, the Mako Coaster. During this presentation, you will get some behind-the-scenes sneak peeks. You're gonna learn about the predator that it's based upon, the Mako Shark, and you're gonna get a visual perspective of what it will be like to ride in the front row once it opens June 10th. Mako over delivers with over 10 unique moments of airtime. 
When you're here experiencing Mako, all the thrills of it, they came directly from nature and the shark itself. And that's not all. We're building a whole new realm. It's called Shark Wreck Reef, and here you're going to learn about all the sharks of the ocean, the dangers they face, and how you can make a difference for sharks in your simple, everyday actions at home. That just about wraps up today's show. However, we couldn't possibly say goodbye to you without giving you one more final thrilling sneak peek at makeup. Secure all these items and buckle up because here we go. So we will be able to see Mako out the side window right there. We're going to take a full 360. Sea World Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. Did you know that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 20,000 animals over the past 50 years? You can learn more by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. We just won a day, daytime Emmy today. Exciting real life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea life with which we Manta's share going. our planet. Watch Sea Rescue this week on going. ABC. And then the purple track in the background Naturally, is sea Mako. Ooh, you can find Mako some looks awesome. In the gift shop of Journey to Atlantis. There's the conference center. Filled with playful, dolphins. Manta. This oh, the eye right there. To see how you can Journey to Atlantis just splashed down. This is Aquatica. That's the future realm of Mako. Oh. Surfacing June 10th at SeaWorld. That's coming Mako pretty quick. Will be a 200 foot tall hyper coaster that will reach 73 miles per hour along 4,760 feet of steel track, nearly a mile long leave riders feeling both breathless and weightless. This area right here on Mako is going to be a splashdown area, much like the uh, splashdown area on Manta. After an awesome animal encounter, Do you think it'll splash unwind, the people that are riding the flamingo boat? Oh, <laughs> maybe. Thanks for joining us, and have a whale of a day at SeaWorld. Ooh, pun, 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 pun. Ducks, 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 ducks. So as you guys can see here, there is two different lines. There's ride entry, and there's non-riders here. It's a 30-minute wait for the ride and a 20-minute wait not to ride the ride, which is pretty interesting to me. Uh, I didn't think it would be a 20 minute wait just to see the penguins. So we're totally going to ride Kraken right now, but I have to put the camera away. So we're getting a locker, which is actually kind of interesting because it's, it's a dollar for every hour and two dollars for each additional hour. Wow, that's kind of crazy. So a dollar for the first hour. So that's what we're going to pay is a dollar. Kraken, just as fun as ever. Like one of my favorite roller coasters is Kraken. I really enjoyed riding it this time. I really can't wait to ride Mako though because we could see it from on Kraken. We are walking quickly over to the splashdown area right here to see Doug and Tim go by. Let's see if we can catch them. They come, here they come. <laughs> that was them. There they go. So that concludes our trip down to SeaWorld Orlando, but we still have to eat dinner, so we are going to head down to Disney Springs. So for dinner, we decided to go to Splitsville. The bowling alley, but I think they have food inside. We are not bowling today, but in case you guys were wondering what the prices were to bowl, it is $15 per person on uh, Monday through Friday. And then Friday, it's 20, and Saturday, Sunday, it's 20. Ooh, you could get your own pin, like a wooden pin. Ooh, you can get a Mickey ball. It's 129 bucks. That's not too bad. This is where we're sitting 
And you can see like the bowling alleys right here next to us. They come in packs of 10, I think. But well, this one's just a pack of six. Then there's more back behind us over here, starting off with some loaded french fries. Those look amazing. All right, so here's our food. I got just a regular old cheeseburger with um, bacon on it. got the double tuna with no eel sauce because eel sauce is gross. <laughs> we looked up what was in eel sauce today and yes, it's like fertilized eel eggs. Yum. Yeah. Doug actually got what we think looks the best out of anything. This is the filet sliders. Those are just straight up pieces of filet in there. They look delicious. So just walking through downtown Disney, I believe that this is going to be the Edison place. And right across the pathway is going to be STK, which is like a modern steakhouse, I think is what they call it. Oh, a modern American steakhouse. And then if I turn around, this is where the Edison bar is going, I believe. Not 100% sure. So right across from the hangar bar is Raglan Road, which still has quite a few walls up next to it. But if we head down the little pathway down here, we should be able to see into the new town center square area. So right across from Cooks of Dublin, we turn and here it is. Here's all of the new Disney spring stuff. It looks like a real lake. It looks like a real spring. Yeah, with like, like a Florida. real Florida spring, the color and all like the little cracks in the ground. Yeah. Looks kind of awesome. Yeah, this is opening up really soon. So we were just kind of looking across the river here and Jen noticed this sign here that says Sunshine State Ice Works. And there's a little piece of machinery next to it that I think that they would pull the water out to turn into ice. Some good theming. So you can see Fulton's has closed down for their refurbishment and uh, they have taken down the words Crab House from the sign. They've started taking off some of the facade here to turn it back into a paddle wheeler and they've changed the name. Coming in fall of 2016, it will be Paddlefish. Holy cow, what a tiring day. As a matter of fact, so tiring that when we got home, I totally just fell asleep on the couch and didn't film an outro. It's actually the next morning. Yay. Uh, good times, good times at SeaWorld. I can't wait to ride Mako. Good times at Disney Springs. I can't wait to see the rest of that open. And also Splitsville was really good. I'm sorry that I'm like shaking right now. I just woke up and I like my arms are tired. So uh, yeah, I should go get some coffee and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.